Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. And the mic sounds a little different because I got it further away and I got the volume up, so. But it's not distorted. And first of all, I just want to thank you guys for the heartfelt uh, birthday wishes and the donations that I received. I truly appreciate you guys. <coughs> and this is why I do what I do for you guys. Today I have another guitar for sale. It's a Jay Terser Strat copy. You get the strap with it. And actually, you get the plate in the back. I just took the plate off to put on brand new strings, but I put that back on. C form green. Like you guys know that follow my channel, I love Jay Tursa guitars. I got about at least 15 of them. Um, the necks on these things are just incredible. And it's the neck with the have which have that little thing on there. Stick that up there. And then the skunks stripe in the back. The other guitar, Jay Terser's guitars with the, without this neck, it's not bad. They're not bad at all. I don't have any problems with any Jay Terser products, but this is to me top of the line, the neck. Uh, the neck on this thing feels much better than a Fender Stratocaster American uh, guitar. I got a couple of those, and I, I, I mainly keep those in the studio because when people hire me, they want that sound. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to give you what you asked him for and paying for. But me personally, I rarely ever play any Stratocasters, Fender Stratocasters outside studio work. And they're considered one of the, you know, the guitar brand standards. You know, if you don't have a Strat or a Gibson Les Paul in your studio, you're not, you know, whatever. But uh, Legends go for only about 120 bucks, $40 shipping and handling. And it goes out priority mail with a signature. So that's a total of $160. This guitar is worth it. All of the J. Terrence guitars that I get, they're worth it. This one is just a little bit special, special than the other ones to me. For one reason, it has the weight of a Fender Stratocaster American made guitar. I mean, this thing has some weight to it. It ain't real heavy like a Les Paul, but it got some weight. And the neck on these things, like I told you, I love them. I mean, they feel good. And the action on every J. Terzi guitar that I've ever had, we're ready to play out the box. You know, I rarely have to do any kind of tweaking. When I do, it's just to my special set of specific. Uh, uh, specific uh, I can't get the word specification. You know, but before I even do my thing to make it personalized for me, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that we all have our certain preferences. Like for me, instance, when for instance, this guitar came and the strings were brand new. They felt like they were nines. I know they weren't tens and I know they weren't eights. So I took off the nines and I put on eights because I love eights, you know. So I didn't have to do that, but that's just my personal preference. And again, the action on these things are low and it feels good to play. Because ain't nothing worse than when you're trying to play a guitar and you got to press the strings all the way down just to get to the fretboard. I hate that feeling. And when it's like that, I don't play well, you know, because I'm like, I'm kind of uptight because my guitar feels like shit. You know, but when it plays or feels right, I play all day long, you know. Again, uh, this guitar has just some, some great tone to it. And there's not a scratch on this guitar. Not, not one. Nope, not one scratch. This is the main condition. Uh, so again, one total, 160. 40 dollars shipping hand and 120. This is worth 120, trust me. It actually is worth much more than that. Uh, as much as I love this guitar, <clears throat> and this guitar got a really nice setup on it, uh, this one doesn't compare to this one as far as the neck. Because there's nothing wrong with this neck and it feels good to play, but this neck here just feels much better to play. So, you know, if you're interested, leave me a comment down there and say, hey, Morris, man, is it still available? Because if you're still watching the video, it's available. Once someone comments and say, I want it, and I say, okay, send, uh, send your 160. And once they send the 160, I take the video down. Or I put across the header, so one or the other. So you would know when the guitar has been sold. But trust me, uh, you know, I play for hours a day because that's what I do. You know, I don't just pick up my guitar 15 minutes out of the day and put it back in the corner. I play for hours, you know, in the studio. And I want something that's going to feel good for me to play that extended amount of time. And Jay Terser, Pass with Flying Colors, again... I really hate the part with this one because I actually had just got this one about maybe about a week ago. And I'm going to tell you why I'm, I'm selling because you might, why are you getting rid of it then? Whenever I get new gear, something has to go. 
because I'm in the process of kind of revamping my studio so I got more sound modules and I went back and got all reliable as far as the drum machine that Kai MP62 none of that new garbage because anything after the 3000 is garbage you know uh, 3000 on back the original the number two and then I think it was another one then it was the 3000 it stops there anything else the, the stuff you see now from Akai because Roger Lynn is no longer involved with Akai because the old Kai MP60 got his name across there you know and uh, after I think I forgot which one but uh it stopped at the 3000 I think the 2000s were they weren't they weren't all that good neither but uh the 3000 went back to the way that the 2000 I mean the MP60 and 62 were designed uh, the 2000 was like uh kind of like the the, the equivalent to a, a Fender Bullet or Squire, you know, but they got back on track with the 3000. But I had to go buy another one of those because I couldn't find a drum machine that was uh, compatible to what I was trying to do. And the majority of them now are designed where they design for rappers and not musicians. They got bass lines in them and all. I'm like, I'm a bass player. I don't need to have a bass line in my drum machine. I just need some fucking drums and need to program it the way I want to. You know, so uh, I had to go back old school, you know, and I still have my discettes from when I had my 62, you know, so I'm like, you know, what, still have those great sounds sitting in the closet in the discette. Let me just go ahead and, you know, spend a couple grand on getting what I had before. And that's what I did. So, you know, some of my stuff have to go. C4 Green. What's interesting about C4 Green is when you try to get a C4 Green from Fender, it's going to cost you a lot of money. Unless you buy the bullet, which is some garbage. And the Squire, not bad, but this blows the Squire out the water, you know, because that's what I like about Jay Tursa. You can get any color for the same price, you know. With Fender, you got to spend an additional three, four hundred dollars just because you want Dolphin Blue or Seafoam Green, you know. And I ran across Seafoam Green guitars at about a hundred bucks, but they were hand painted. They, you know, they, got, they don't have a professional paint job like these do. You know, so uh, this guitar is a great guitar. And if you're interested in hearing the tone, I'll leave a link down there so you can hear me play this guitar. Because I think I got two covers on my channels while I'm playing this guitar. And it has a beautiful tone. And it feels good to play. You know, so again, uh, 120 plus $40 shipping and handling. And what I'll do is, uh, I'll do this. If this sells tonight, the first person that buys it tonight... And today's the 15th, 100 bucks plus 40 hours shipping hand. So we're looking at, well, actually, technically, say $99, and we're looking at $40 shipping hand. So that's $139 today. Tomorrow it's going to be 120 plus 40. So if you're interested in it today, grab it today because uh, it'll be here again tomorrow, but it'll be 20 extra dollars. So I'm just trying to create an incentive for you guys to say, hey, shit, I want that right now. Ain't no sense me pondering a day or two on it. I'm going to take this right today. So until next time, take care. Thanks for watching. My PayPal information is right there. Once you submit payment, it goes out. United States Postal, priority shipping. It takes about four days to get to you with priority shipping, and then someone has to sign for it. Never is the post office just going to leave a big box on your door for me and nobody's there and no one's signing for it and then something happened to it. So I make sure that it shows up or get to you in a secure, safe manner. Till next time, take care and thanks for watching.